Jared Anderson responds to his defeat by his own short story. And he was like, what TF was I thinking? Trying to bang it out with that big ass MF. -er. <laughs> and then as you can see the next one, <laughs> big ass MF. -er. <laughs> Let me counter punch. Um, that's the spirit. I think Jared Anderson's taking the fight or the loss. Well, you know, um, uh, but I think him asking that question, jokingly, I think that is a very good question you should ask your superiors. Because a guy like Bacali, you know, people will throw you into uh, uh, some some place or a, uh, or a position that you're not ready for. They will do that, and it's not really fun, and it's not, and it's dangerous. He had no business fighting anyone like Martin Bacali. But here's the thing: we wouldn't have known that until <clears throat> until it happened, right? We wouldn't have known that until it happened. So now we know, you know, now <laughs> it's like, okay, you know, what else is new? Well, you know, uh, you weren't ready for Martin Bacali, you know, but I think he learned a lot from it, but I think he should also learn like, hey, there are reasons why promoters don't throw fighters in there with certain fighters because, you know, it's a time and place for everything. I just don't like what promoters try to do where they wait extremely too long for a particular fight to happen. Because it's either you're doing two things. You're either testing a guy by putting him in a risky fight, or you're either, or you're throwing in that guy to the wolves. You know what I mean? And it's a setup, like you're supposed to lose. I know you couldn't handle a big guy like that. That's why I made the fight. I wanted to see you suffer. I wanted to see you get beat because I knew you wasn't ready. I knew you wasn't experienced. That's why I did it. Those type of things. You know, some people do boxing is a very shitty and dirty business. The sport that I love that I hate so much. But, you know, I'm glad that Jared Anderson's in good spirits before that. You know, he's showing that he loved being a father, which is great. You know what I mean? So he's understanding the uh, real things of life and the more finer and calm and sentimental things of life when it comes to life. But I do think he needs to uh, sit down and um, reconsider who and how he's being managed because that fight he had no business being in. But you guys tell me what you think of Jared Anderson responding to uh, the beating that he took in a jokingly manner. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!